Hi, I'm Dr. Mavi Gupta. I want to share a few of my personal tips for successful hypnobirthing. I share these tips with all of my clients because they made a big difference during my own pregnancy and birth. Number one, practice daily. As simple as it seems, this is probably the most important tip I can give you. I know for sure this was the key to my success. For one, it helped me relax during pregnancy and I was able to sleep better at night. This is because the very first step in hypnosis is deep relaxation. During birth, I was able to get into a hypnotic state effortlessly. I could easily go into my safe place, the place that I had practiced visualizing during my daily practice. That just illustrates the compounding effectiveness of hypnosis. The more you do it, the more effective it is. Do it every day and you'll have the best results. This is why I strongly believe that a home hypnosis program is better than a class or private hypnotherapy session. You can actually do the home hypnosis sessions every day, unlike a class which is hard to fit into your schedule, or a private session which is really expensive. The nice thing is that hypnosis recordings actually make regular practice easy and enjoyable. It wasn't like some kind of homework that I didn't want to do after a long day at work. I really look forward to that half-hour escape I would get in the evenings while listening to my hypno recordings. Number two, practice close to bedtime. This was so helpful for sleep. A lot of times I would get ready for bed and listen as I lay in bed. If that is not possible, then any time in the day is just fine. Number three, repeating or listening to affirmations is a great daily activity that goes hand in hand with hypnosis. Both are key to a positive birthing mindset. I listen to recordings in the car to and from work. While I wouldn't recommend that you listen to hypnosis recordings in the car, affirmations are perfect for the car. Number four, don't overthink the process, especially during birth. If you have practiced, hypnosis will come naturally. You'll be able to move easily in and out of that hypnotic state. You'll even be able to have your eyes open and walk around. Number five, find a comfortable and quiet place when listening to the recordings. Make sure no one will disturb you. Your goal is focused concentration, so turn off any phones ringing or message alerts. After a handful of sessions, those otherwise distracting noises will actually help you go deeper into a hypnotic state. I know that may sound strange, but it actually works, especially if the hypnotherapist reminds you that background noises will make you more relaxed. Number six, when the hypnotherapist asks you to picture something, you can do that in whatever way is comfortable to you. Some people visualize clear images while others relate more to sound stimuli. Others are more tactile or kinesthetic. The trick is to let the image, feel, sound, or even smell come to you in whatever way it comes, rather than to feel like you're doing it wrong because you don't actually see a picture. Number seven, if you're using hypnobirthing recordings, you may find that some of the CDs or MP3s resonate with you more than the others. While I would still suggest learning to all of their recordings, use those sessions that you relate to more often. If they are helping you relax, visualize and reduce stress more than the other sessions, then go with what's working. There is no one right way for hypnosis, pregnancy, or birthing for that matter. Empowering yourself with these tools will be the difference between feeling out of control, stressed, and in pain during birth, and feeling in control, relaxed, and comfortable. Birth is what you make of it. Our thoughts are very powerful so powerful that they can actually cause, relieve, and avoid physical discomfort and pain. Hypnosis works by getting you into a deep state of relaxation so you are open to suggestion. It really worked for me, and I continue to use it in my life. In fact, hypnosis was the catalyst for me to switch to home birth. Ultimately, hypnosis got me out of a fear-based mindset and into a positive one. I had been tunnel visioned on an overly medicated, stressful birth because I thought that was my only choice, but when I started self-hypnosis, I really began to visualize the birth that I could have. If you find even just one of these tips helpful, and you can put it to use towards your own positive birth experience, then I have accomplished my goal. Thank you for watching.